welcome back to Homebody. Welcome back to Homebody. Is that microphone good? Is this good? I think so. Am I too loud? Am I gonna be too loud? I'm probably just like a smidge too loud. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Probably. All right. So we kind of made a discovery. <laughs> what? You can't hear anything? Are you having a problem? I didn't have my headphones on. We made a discovery since the end of the last video. Yes. We think that we're kind of in the twilight zone. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we might be in a time loop. Ooh, a lock on the door. Wait. Do you no. see? No. What? Okay, so I think our game actually restarted. Maybe? I don't know. Well, you did continue from the last save file. So I don't know when the game last saved. Let me see something. Yeah, because of the way we exited the last episode, I'm not sure if we saved from when we were hiding in the closet and the night clearly has to end. Yeah. And have to be caught or other. I don't know. You really keep me with going, huh? He said something about space. I got a million of them. I love space. It's a big, beautiful mystery. Have you ever heard of the Pioneer Satellite? I mean, I've heard the name. I think that's all I know. Well, the Pioneer Satellite was shot into space in the 60s, I think. Carl Sagan was curious if alien species would ever find it, so he designed a plaque for it that shows directions of how to get to Earth. Isn't that kind of sweet? This hunk of metal shot out with directions on how to return home? Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> there's a there's a lock on the front door. Do you know why? What? Did you try unlocking it? It's yeah, it's not on the door itself. It's a separate machine. Oh, so we're trapped inside until we figure the lock out. Uh -oh. Cliff was kind of crappy when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? Like, is he mad at me? Oh, man. Is he acting mad at you? Like he's mad at you? Sorry. <laughs> he's actively cold-shouldering. Yeah, he is. Huh. For all this bluster, Cliff usually is more of a passive-aggressive kind of guy. I don't remember him saying anything particularly crappy. Come to think of it, though, I don't remember him saying anything about you for a while. Cool. Um, even when I've brought you up. He does not like us. He's mad about us. Or he's mad at us about something. Hey, so you think he's mad at me? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm very confident that he's mad at you. <laughs> okay, I'm like zoned out in a way. I'm just like trying to figure out what's going on with the game. Yeah. Are we night one or are we in active night two? I have no clue. Where's the time? Do we not see the time when we're talking? When we're talking, to yeah. It's like okay. seven something. Gotcha, gotcha. I wonder if he resents me for moving away. You might be onto something. He keeps bringing up how you live in the big city, that you're too good for us. Oh, well. So he's just bitter? Yeah, he's mad that we left. <laughs> it was all that he would talk about for a while, around the time he first started clinging to me constantly. Yikes. Sorry about that. It is what it is. Aww. I've really missed him a lot. Aww. I hate to think I made things worse. That is sad. He's probably just acting out. I'll bring it up to him. Aw, thanks, Gary. You and I both know he wouldn't react well if I actually talked to him about it. Mm. This is gonna take some subterfuge. Is that how you pronounce uh -huh. that? Okay. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's a word I've read but not said out loud. <laughs> this is gonna take some subterfuge, and I can't promise it'll be done by the end of the night. But I'll try to bring it up. Um. Aww. Thank you, Gary. That means a lot. Of course, buddy. Buddy. I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Okay. Cool. Yeah, hold Tilda to learn things. <laughs> hold Tilda. Okay, Megan's over here. Yes, and she's playing the game. Hi, Megan. Megan! I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Emily, but I'm so glad you're here. What? Why would that make me uncomfortable? <laughs> Just like, 
I don't know how stressful it is to feel seen like that. <laughs> That's sweet. It's a good scene. That's very true. That is true. Francine was actually pretty worried you weren't going to come. She said you've been really busy with work lately. I guess I was also worried I wasn't going to come. <laughs> you are a night late. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, uh, you know, deadlines for work that I'm doing. Sure. Emily's a little shady. Well, I hope you're not pushing yourself too hard. In that instance, I think she's just talking about being anxious. I think so. You and Francine might hang out all the time since she- Wait. You and Francine must hang out all the time since she moved out there, huh? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, speaking of which, sorry again that I'm so late. I haven't been in town for a while, so my mom is being needy. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I hope she's holding up okay. But mostly I hope you're holding up okay. And anyway, we're still waiting on Pete. Yeah, where is True. Pete? True. We haven't heard about Pete, like, almost at all. I, I want to explore, so I'm not going to talk to people too long. Okay. We want to explore. We've seen the kitchen. We know that we can burn the house down if we want to, accidentally. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cliff. Cliff! Hey, Cliff. With the hey, greaser Cliff. hairdo of the gang. He's got He's a knife. He's holding a knife. Maybe we shouldn't talk to him. Cliff! Uh. This is you. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Look who's here. You're not as good as it as you think you are, you know that. What? What? The asking questions so you can control people thing? Like you can get the upper hand over people without them even knowing it? Like you can control everything? What are you talking about? What? Literally, what is this about? Are you o doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's been a long trip. Alright. Gary pulled me aside this morning and told me you're worried about me. Oh, so he's already talked to you. I'm worried about you, too. I've missed you, Emily. I've missed you, too. Puffed. Um, how's the trip been treating you so far? It's been okay. Deep enough into the woods outside, you open up into a clearing and these jagged rocks come up out of the ground like gods and sizers. What? I've never seen so little light pollution. It was beautiful. Dang. Let's not talk about the city. Alright. Uh, has it been good being around, you know, your friends? These people here in this building? Oh yeah, that. For the most part, yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm not lying. I just... It's not like it was in college. Aww. Absence doesn't necessarily make the heart grow fonder, you know? And it's such a hard thing to come to terms with. Mm-hmm. Francine, you mean? Aww. Look, I don't have a problem with Francine, but... You don't have a problem with Francine? All right, fine. She's mean to me. <laughs> but you're mean to me, and I still like you. Shut up. Anyway, Francine's just been cold, I guess. So working through her own crap, Cliff maybe. Thing? Francine and him? Yeah. I don't think. I feel like we are a thing. We may have been a thing. We might be a thing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I cut you off. But I was so confused as to the prior context. I don't know. Uh. Lord knows I'm not treating her any differently than usual. Mm. Uh huh. How have uh, things been with you? So, are we answering as Cliff? I don't think so. I think maybe this is supposed to be Cliff's line. Maybe. Or this is just some weird messing with the head thing. Weird. Uh, I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie if given the opportunity not to. I've been uh, hanging in there. Yeah, that should have been Cliff asking. <laughs> that sucks. How was the drive? What'd you do? Take the 80 most of the way? What? That's how I would have done it. Oh, He's like, you're all right? All right. How'd you get here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it? What? Cliff, I don't get it. Do you just not want to be close to other people? <laughs> sure, get everybody nice and close. That way you'll get the chance to stick the knife in, right? What? Oh my gosh. I, mean, I would be like, super mean by just being like, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's my answer. What would you say? 
I don't know. I kind of want this bottom one. Yeah. But that's because my inner bodily function is to just do the Chandler defense mechanism. <laughs> I'm hopeless and angry, or wait, hopeless and awkward and desperate, desperate for love. <laughs> I just like having friends. Mm. No, I just like having friends. Oh, that's oh, the end of that's it. That's it. Well. Woo. Goodbye, sir. Hey, look, the closet's not broken. There's a sticky note on that shelf. I know, I can't read it though. Weird. Yeah. There's sticky notes on a lot of things. Oh, uh, he's gonna kill us. Do you he's think it's. Okay, it's 7 25 p.m. right now. Right. I don't think the power goes out until like after 10. No. Okay, so Does time stop here. when we're talking to people? Uh, I don't think. I don't know if it stops when we talk to people. I know that it does that when we. Alright, this Let's is see. like a separate room or the garage. This, this is like is a separate the garage. Room. We've read this article before. Oh. Oh, that's what I want to do. It's the um, garage switch. Not the garage switch. We could, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay. I want to open this suitcase because something I realized is that. You heard that, right? Yeah. The door opened. Yeah, it did. In our memory log. Oh. Combination to this yeah. suitcase. 420 blaze it, baby. 420A. I should have gone the other way. Yep. <laughs> You're me in the Nancy Drew game. Hey! This is what I packed? I know I was in a hurry, but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear. <laughs> what the hell? This is so embarrassing. That is so funny. My suitcase. There's like two pair of pants in here and nothing else. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Oh, girl. Maybe she was anxious while she was packing because she didn't feel like coming. A light just came from this. A light came from it? Yeah. When you were in the other room, like the entrance room? Yes. Ooh. I guarantee you. You guarantee us. I do. Katie's a guarantor. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have to figure out a fair amount of puzzles, I think, before uh, the power goes out, so we can use combos and keypads and things. Yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. Hi, Gary. Francine, Gary. we haven't talked to you yet today. Francine. Love her. Francine. Hi, Emily. I can't remember her voice at all. It's okay. It was like this, right? Honestly, you sounded a bit like Monica from Doki Doki. That's what I thought. Okay. Hi, Emily. I've been wanting to say to you, this morning I heard Cliff talking with Gary about how much he misses you and how he's frustrated that he hasn't heard from you in a while. I'm guessing those weren't the words Cliff used. Hmm. No, they weren't. He was really spitting venom. To all of us. Gary talked him down, though. Oh. I thought it was interesting to hear Gary speaking on your behalf, working to be sure Cliff would be excited to see you. Dudes. <laughs> this is so complicated for like no reason. No wonder we were anxious to show up. Yeah. My gosh. Jeez, this is so dramatic. <laughs> uh. What did we do? What happened? Why is this so dramatic? Cliff was that down on me, huh? You know how fickle Cliff is. Mmm, fickle Cliff. He does have a short memory. Cliffle. You're right. <laughs> I think <laughs> Gary just needed to remind him of how much he cares about you. It was very prescient of him to do that before you even got here. Is that, I guess? I don't know. Prescient? Prescient? I don't know. Prescient. Pre pre prescient. <laughs> <laughs> Gary said Cliff has been talking about this for a while. I guess that's how he knew. Mm -hmm. How's the trip been treating you so far? It's been good. A few wrinkles, but mostly good. Everybody's still basically themselves after all this time. Cliff's been a bit of a prick, but what else is new? And Gary and Megan have really been getting along, though Megan has mostly been parked in front of that video game. <laughs> <laughs> Megan is just avoiding everybody, I feel like. Like, yeah. not on purpose, but just, like, out of happenstance of, like, oh, good, I can do this? I can do this instead of talking to people. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's do the one that's not talking about someone else. All right. I'm bummed I have to cram so much into a short trip. Into such a short trip. 
I'm already dreading another four hours in the car on Monday. You're choosing the path of least resistance with almost every conversation dialogue yeah. option. Because you're just trying to get information. You're not trying to make people angry. Exactly. I'm trying to, like, just get info now. And but, later on, we'll get into it. True. My initial mindset is like, no, ruffle some feathers. Make people angry so I can get them to say what they really think. I know. I and, just, like, that's just two different paths. It is. It is. It's so funny how differently we play games versus how we are in real life. Yeah. It's funny. Cliff said that the homeowner was hard to get rid of. I I wouldn't say it was hard to get rid of, per se. It was more like he was excited to have company. Mm. Ah, Cliff told the story like he had to force him out the door. <laughs> Cliff wishes. No, he left willingly, but I had to talk to him for about an hour before he would leave. Oh, wow. It seems like he was worried about something. Maybe the murderer in mm. the attic, the top floors, the bottom floors, the basement, everything? Worried. <laughs> yeah, like he was dreading something. I don't know. Maybe he was just afraid of leaving us alone with his house. I, I, fair, I guess, if you keep antiques of the 70s. Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna go catch up with everybody else. Great. Bye, Francine. What can we read? Oh! oh! There's so much we can do. Come hell or higher waters. Part one, festivities. Someone in a corner was playing a saw with a bow, poorly, and the theremin warble of it screeched through the house until the man caught the bow on the ragged teeth. Mm. It snapped with a twang, striking him in the face. A woman in a shawl poured vodka onto the lightly bleeding cut on his eyebrow. Weird. Suddenly there was a joint in my hand, as well as a fresh grasshopper. Who gave them to me? Perhaps they simply manifested there. I may have been sauced. Sauced? Sauced? Yeah. Three drinks ago. But I was in the throes of personal heartbreak, and I'd be damned if I wasn't going to have a good time in spite of it. The party gathered as a celebration of the full moon and had quickly devolved into a celebration of pure debauchery. I observed a jolly nude man streak across the yard, a comet of pale flesh. We were artists, after all, left to our own devices and a voluminous quantity of liquor and acid. What else would you expect? I let a small gaggle of quite pulchritudinous young ladies into the attic to show them the accumulator. They oohed and awed and huddled inside the chamber, impressed with the finely crafted TBD. Holy cow. <laughs> May I just say. Dracula. 1,647 pages. Jonathan Harker's journal. Ooh. No. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay. Please don't make me read that whole thing. Hey, Frankenstein. Oh, sorry. Hey, Frankenstein. This is a good one. 800 pages? Yeah. Ooh. To Mrs. Savile, England. Yeah, it's all letters. It's Mary so cool. Mary Shelley. That's such a cool book. That is a cool book. It's over here. One of the books is missing from an otherwise full bookshelf. Mmm, rando book. Huh. What be happening? What's up with the abstract strange paintings of a cyclops? Who knows? A room. The attic! Is this where we're bunking? With Cliff? No, with Gary. Gary. Parker, <gasps> thank you for the vials. I swear these are the last I'll need. The puppy. I know, he's cute. <laughs> do remember to change your bandages, because I do not plan on taking you to the ER again. Huh. The work will be done soon. Rest assured it is as convoluted as you feared. C. Do we know the name of our Airbnb host? Parker. Okay. It's Parker now. Oh, gosh, that's Francine, her. you freaked me Scared out. Scared the crap out of me, woman. <laughs> Open the door. Opens the door. Dude, the shades on the windows with the light is, like, good design. Freaking me out. Yeah. Okay, so the blue wire connects all the way up here at this hallway, and there was something up in the ceiling. Oh, I don't right. know how to get to it, but it was not the ceiling, but, like, the high part of the wall. Next to the keypad diagram, there's a sticky note. All that's on it is a number, written in thin, open block letters, 12. All right. 12. Bet you that's in our memory log now. It is, I think. Yep. The desk note, yeah. Good. Important. All right. Look into hole? A peephole through <gasps> painting? We can watch for the alien creature murderer from here. That looks like a... Okay. I think that's what the blue wire was connected to. Yeah, probably. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Pamphlet. There's a lot of things we can look at on that a desk. A safe kid's guide to logging online. Okay. 
Always ask for parents' permission before surfing the web. Kay. Don't give anyone your personal information, like what school you go to or your birthday. Got it. If you see something that makes you feel funny, tell a trusted adult right away. My mom! Never agree to meet someone you met on the internet in real life. <laughs> ever! Right. Very bad things can happen to you! Truth! Ask yourself, can you ever really know a person? Would you even want to? Catfishing. If you wouldn't say it in front of grandma, don't say it online. Indeed. Don't open emails or IMs from strangers. They could have viruses, bad pictures, or could just be trying to play a mean trick on you. Don't risk it. Do not risk it, children. Those are actually great rules. Those are the rules that, yeah, the basic rules of... Ooh. Oh, it's Minesweeper. It's Minesweeper! Uh, uh, uh. You can touch the one right next to the one at the top. Ah, oh, I lied. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There goes our power. There goes the power. Which means Crazy Man is going to be getting in soon. It's a flyer for an electronic lock. Maybe from the 80s, the illustrations have that gauzy airbrush look they did then. It says it has an optional electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate on loss of power. Accompanying the flyer is a handwritten note. Read the yes. note. Yes, Clara. Someone will be coming from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form and lock up the schematic in combination in the cellar cage when done. Power goes out at 9.15. Yes, thank you for knowing that. Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you. From Parker. Key. Parker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? I can't tell if you're working to keep something out or keep something in, and why would they even want to go in the attic? I want to see you leave the house again someday. Ah. I see. Ah. Yeah, power box, power box. The computer is on an inter uninterruptible power supply. I guess that means it's important. I heard something. I'm not doing too hot. I'm not doing too hot. Um, If he sees you, he'll try to chase you, right? Correct. Man, this perspective kind of sucks. Do you know when we saw the creature last time? No. Okay. I'm so scared. But I'm gonna do something. Do you think... Okay, with Minesweeper, is that... Oh! Oh, I guess this is what that... I think it's the password to the computer. Kay. Yes. Oh, I guess this is what the 12 sticky note was all about. That says 110. Inside drawer 12, there's a ripped piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called the Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where is the book this is missing from? Oh, I'm gonna go downstairs and talk to my friends. Ah! Oh, Jesus Oh my gosh, Christ, Gary. It's Gary. <laughs> Gary, why would you do that to Gary, us? Gary, don't go this way. You're gonna get murdered. Yeah, you are gonna talk die Talk to me, Gary. Way. Come on, Gar Gare Bear. Hey, Emily. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> you know anything about a... Ooh, do you know anything about a book with a monster called The Watcher? Ooh. The Watcher? Mm, I remember hearing that somewhere. Honestly, that sounds oddly familiar to me, and I don't know if that's... I feel like it's related to Sherlock. It might be. I don't know. It's a, It's just a It's just a feeling. I could be very wrong. It also I don't could... Know. It's a very, like... It's a normal word. Like, it's not some weird monster name, right, so it could right. just be something that someone else has used. The Watcher. Mm, crap. It rings a bell, but I can't quite remember. Maybe you could ask Francine. She's good with books and whatnot. Okay, Francine. Let's go ask her before we die. Crap. Sorry. Everything got weird right when you showed up. That's okay. Uh, Who uh, cares? Alright. Francine was here. Where did she go? She was coming did up the stairs. Did she go downstairs? She was in our room last that we saw. Alright, 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 alright. It's fine. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Where's Francine? Uh -oh. That's Gary. I hope it's Gary. <laughs> Francine, where'd you go? She came in the room behind us, didn't she? I thought so. Maybe she's gone downstairs since then? Yeah. Because there was definitely times the last game that we played where we were talking to Francine. I don't remember what time, but maybe the power was out? What's up with the clock? It, it's wrong. 10.30. Yeah. Is that what it was last game? It says 10.30. We didn't look at the clock last time. Okay. We did. It's 10 o'clock now. Look, look. That door is open. Did you see that? Yep. This door is open. We should go down there. But I'm so, so, so scared. Cliff, protect us. Cliff. Go away. Oh! All right, Cliff. Thanks for the help. Next time we go upstairs, our friends are going to be dead. Should we go I'm down? I'm already upset. Yes! Or should we open the garage? I think we That's should not gonna go work. down. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yes! The basement. The forbidden basement. Okay. 
Check locker. This has a security thing on it. There's a light switch down here. Oh. All right. Okay. Look tunnel. into tunnel. There's a tunnel near the floor that, when I look into the darkness, seems to stretch into infinity. Just looking at it makes me want to hyperventilate. I don't much want to know what's on the other end, but metal bars stop me from finding out. Okay. Uh, we gotta find a tool for them metal bars. <sighs> okay. 20 by 2 by 4 oak, untreated. 1 by 24 by 80 door, single panel oak finish. Sheeting, 6 by 36 by 36 stainless steel. 4 by 36 by 36 tungsten in internal lining and ass assists with self-organization. 2 by 3 and a half and door hinge brass. 1 one doorknob deadbolt preferable. These are amounts. Yeah. Yeah. Weather stripping, minimum 25 feet for soundproofing. Aluminum window framing, dual layer window panel, copper wiring, minimum 100 feet unshielded. A uh, kitchen chair should suffice. Mm -hmm. Clara, please arrange delivery directly to the house. Thank you. So Parker is keeping something in this house. Yeah. And Clara was aiding and abetting this whole thing. What's the star? Where was 12 on the bookshelf? So I'm trying to remember. Well, One, two, I'm assuming three, four, five, it would six, be. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> that wasn't there. Well, it would be that one. Yeah. I doubt that does anything, but... It would be this one. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, so I can't examine the post-it. A little sea <laughs> urchin. I'm glad she knew that. Or maybe one of those old nautical mines or something. Minesweeper. Yeah, but how does that pertain to Minesweeper? Mm. Round corner. The grid in Minesweeper, is it four by... What was that, five? It's that... It's the same grid. Yeah. Of hollowed tubes and animal spirits, Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood, 1979. 1979! The body is a machine, the body is a house. The same blood, the same thoughts, recycled, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. There is beauty to the well-oiled symphony of it. The furnace of the heart, the electric grid of nerve endings, lungs stuffed with asbestos. The organs swelling proudly against the floorboards. The crawl space is littered with the corpses of animals and the bodies of men. The lights are on. There's nobody home. But a body gets sick. Wood rots. Machines rust. Houses melt into something worse. Nature are abhors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless function of your own decay. A body made to live. A machine built to die. Holy moly. So this murderer that's roaming the house, is this like something they created that they would consider an alien? Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, this is a fun puzzle. What are you hearing? <gasps> Minesweeper! Maybe, I don't know. There's the cable. There's the blue cable. It goes beyond that door. Mm-hmm. It's the blue cable I saw on the first floor. It leads from the ceiling down through a hole in the wall. Can you examine what that is? No, I don't want to do that. What, what, this? Yeah. Yeah, the map. 420! I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Figures. What's that red paint? Weird. So this is like puzzle number one. See the one on the box? Yeah. Yeah. Open door. Yeah, open door. Not budging. I think the locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. <laughs> Perhaps the board we were just looking Perhaps at. Perhaps tis true. Oh, we should go on this side. Oh, I don't want to go over here. What if he's here? What if he all of a sudden just appears? Okay. What's that? That's the yellow cable. Expect the cable. Bruh. Uh. The orange cable from the first floor <laughs> snakes down from the ceiling and disappears into a hole partway up the wall. Alright. Again, beyond a locked door. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, the pump. Oh. Very interesting to me. A 
Oh, we dead. Oh, we dead. He came from the basement, y'all. <laughs> what time was it? I have no idea what time it was. I think it was past midnight. Hey, Gare Bear! Oh gosh. Gary. Hey, Emily. I'm so glad to see you. Um. She's aware, right? She's aware. Oh, that's not what I chose. <laughs> Good to see you too, Gary. Uh, are you doing all right? Something is up here. Something uh, is here. Something, uh, I was, I, something came for us. It's still here. I'm fine. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Emily, I'm serious. You look pretty rattled. Long day. Can you even hear me? Please listen to me. Oh my god! Yeah, just stressed out from family stuff, I think. I feel a little guilty about leaving my mom's place. Oh! I'm glad to have finally made it here, though. This is gonna be a good night. Heck yeah. This is just like old times. Emily, maybe you should go lie down or something. You've had a long night, haven't you? Like, we're supposed to have a relaxing weekend. Yeah, maybe I just need to calm down. Oh, I need to calm down. Okay, <laughs> based on those reactions, I feel like the way we exited the game last Correct. time meant that we just replayed an entire night. I think we did. I think we did. I hope you guys are here for the ride, though. <laughs> Please enjoy we got a lot, us playing this we game. We got a lot more, like, done. For sure, yeah. Cliff. Look who's here. Hi, Emily. You know about this lock thing? <laughs> you couldn't unlock it? We're not gonna be able to get away from that thing. <sighs> it's not on the door itself, it's a separate machine. I knew there was something I didn't trust about this place. Guess the fancy security system needs power to deactivate. Seems pretty dumb. Wait, does this house not have any other exits? Nope. I double checked as soon as I got here. Even the garage door doesn't work. Got it. You seem kind of stressed out. You should go relax for a few. Sure, let me go lay down. Take a load off. We're fine. We didn't just get killed in the basement by a weird creature wearing a plague mask. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's open to a page about the old PC in the master bedroom. Apparently it's got an auto exec set to launch Minesweeper as a demo mode, which we're welcome to try as a curiosity. Okay. However, after use, we're asked to spray compressed air between the keys to ensure their longevity. <laughs> Apparently we were supposed to pack our own compressed air. Okay. Provide the compressed air, please. You're gonna require that of your guests. Yeah. Provide the compressed air. I can look out the window. Moon. Night. Purple. Trees. Cliff's feet scared me. Clifton, you're freaking me out. Okay. So we know where those go. The now. abstract art on the walls is really making me upset. I, like, I don't like it. <laughs> really? This person is really weird. Examine lock. The locking mechanism doesn't have power. A yellow cable leads out into the power box in the living room. We gotta get out of here. What if that thing shows up again? The front door might be the only way out of here. I'll have to figure out this lock. Okay. okay, so if this doesn't have power, let's trace this. Where does yellow go? Into this box, which then follows green or teal, which, which goes, goes upstairs. upstairs. Straight right there, okay. It's 740. The power goes out at 915. Somebody else just went upstairs. Yeah, Cliff? it's Gary. Oh, Gary, sorry, Gary. Other dude. We want to talk to Francine though, so let's see if she's in here. Hey, do you know about the watcher? Let me be able to talk to you about it. Francine, hey. Hi, Emily. Good to see you. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know anything about a book with a monster called The Watcher? The Watcher? Interesting. I feel like it's right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, right. That's from In a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Le Fanu. It's got a bunch of creepy stories in it. Nice. In one of them, the hero is stalked by some sort of creature who he calls The Watcher. There's also this screwed up bird that shows up. It's pretty great. Are you doing okay, Emily? Maybe you should go sit down or something. All right, so. Who's ready to read a story? Wait. <laughs> While you're checking this, I'm so sorry. Can I run to the restroom? Like, yeah. I have to pee so desperately. Like, don't let our time well, run out. Can you go to the save or like well, pause menu menu? Here's the thing, I was, yeah. we can end the video. Okay, It's been cool. 36 minutes. That's fine with me. Okay.
I have to pee desperately, which is the only reason I'm asking. Like, I know it's a time game. That's, yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, we are going to pause here for now. I'm very intrigued by what has just happened. Ah. I'm interested in all the new information we got, everything like that. Okay, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell of awakening if you want to get any notifications oh, on our channel. Oh, happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but... I hope you guys enjoyed Homebody, and we're going to be playing more because we really like it. So we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.